Hello everybody, welcome back to Lions Family Farms. So I finally got a GoPro today, a new one, and I'm sending my other one back. Came out here to check some ground conditions, which looking good. We're gonna haul some manure this morning. Uh, dry cow pens are getting full, we can't bed them anymore. So it's time to clean them. And this is the field I'm gonna go to. But before we start the manure hauling, I'm gonna take hay to the steers. I'm assuming they're pretty much out because it's Monday. Now you would think, since I knew I was doing this today, I would open these gates after we ran cows out this morning. But now, nope, here I am doing it. Well, I was coming back from the steers and thought I'd swing by the shed and get the 7410 fired up. Dry cows get to chill outside while I do this. Coming in for load one. cow's been chilling up there since I started so I might as well pen her in there instead of doing one side at a time I can get a gate open oh my this is full over here now she's gonna break camp hold on girl see if I can shut this gate uh oh now I can clean this all as one that side hasn't been cleaned since November so it's probably pretty deep that's the freshening side Every time I go to clean it, there'll be a cow with a calf in there, or a cow having a calf. That cow is overdue. So I was like, well, you're this far along, you might as well just wait another day. So she's holding out. We'll see what happens. I think there's about another load in there yet. It's getting windy out. I don't know what that's all about. Got to get this gate swung over to this side so we can dig this out with minimal forking. Nice and tight. All right. minimal forking to do.
landslide for today. We're just gonna spread it right here, and then we'll bed this pen up. Me and Dave have somewhere to be at 11:30, so I'm gonna do the rest of the heifer bar tomorrow. Okay, this is good enough. The cows can do the rest of it. As long as I get the gate shut here. Of course, the lights down. <laughs> So, like I said, me and Dave were going somewhere this afternoon, late morning, and um, we were going right by Biggie's new office. It's you best bet we're stopping in. Yeah, we gotta make sure the county government is getting working work hard. So he knows we're coming, but he doesn't know we have the camera. And he doesn't know we have our protest signs <laughs> stand outside the building. Get ready, Biggie. <laughs> Look at this. Could you guys imagine you'd ever see this guy in this kind of setting? Hey, he's not in his bear seat. Yeah. <laughs> Here he is. Look at him. Look at this outfit. Oh my gosh. Ready the unit. Yeah, uh, big say time. Hi. Everybody Hello. You. Hello. I gotta add him to my photo. <sighs> Had a pretty busy morning. Duty called. Dave's on sitting detail. Uh, I mean, seriously. Hello, David. Uh, well, back out in the fields. I want to haul in this one tomorrow. And I want to make sure this ground or this waterway is okay to drive across, which it looks to be. Here's what we're looking at here. It's not as dry as that other stuff, but it will be fine. Well, you can see up here on top of this hill. So there's liquid manure. I did that old field. It's like 20 some acres. So that's done. We don't need to put any more manure on that this year. Uh, I have this covered up above that waterway. So we got that hilltop to do yet which that's where I'm gonna go tomorrow. Uh, that's gonna be corn this year, which it's in bean stubble, which bean stubble pr provides a little bit of nitrogen. But putting that manure on is gonna give it a boost because that's that's like, that's shale. That dirt's red. And um, we're over here in a wheat field right now, walking through, you can see some weed presence. And uh, the wheat's shooting up, it ain't too bad. Uh, I'm gonna talk to our custom spraying guy and see if he can put nitrogen and a herbicide on this this week. Uh, right now we're uh, near middle, late March. So it's that time of the year to get the nitrogen out on the spring forages and cereal grains. And one more field I wanted to check. The ground moisture is this old cow pasture we got down here. It's like 10 or 11 acres. Uh, we have decided we were gonna get nitrogen sprayed on this this year. Uh, to boost the growth and also bring down some mineral levels. I think that's right. Don't hold me to that. I was talking to our nutritionist and he suggested that this um, this is all going to be dry cow hay. This 11 acres will make enough dry cow hay to last the year. So it'll be very consistent hay and the ration should not change at all. And then that leaves all that other hay for selling. So that's why we were putting 50 units of nitrogen um, down here in this pasture. You can see it's starting to green up a little bit. New growth pushing through last year's dead stuff. So uh, probably this week as well, we'll get him to do that. So I need to call him. 
This is the only spot we need to watch for. It's wet. So the Lear Gold guy was here today. Um, he dropped off these two. Contains live amino acids, vitamins, and live naturally occurring microorganisms. I used one of these on a calf. It had scours. Um, just could not get it to clear up. Been giving it resorb and stuff like that. And no matter what I did, it wouldn't clear up. So I thought, well, this is not going to hurt it since it has the naturally occurring microorganisms. I gave it this. The next day, it was like nothing was even wrong. So I'm a firm believer on this stuff and giving stuff like that when there's a situation like that. And they're relatively cheap too, so I think it is definitely worth worth doing. Okay, since that's all squared away, field and stuff's figured out, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna get the skid loader over here, grease the skid loader, head down to the shop, grease the manure spreader. Um, got quite a bit of manure to move yet, and I should have did it before I started today, but things don't always work out. I'm about five hours overdue on the greasing, but I think we shall be okay. Evening milking with Dave. Hi everyone. Hi. So if you guys remember about that cow I was talking about this morning, she finally had a calf and um, we want that calf to drink the colostrum from her. So, and it's a little chilly out this evening. So I'm gonna put a coat on it because I don't want it to be getting sick. And look at these guys, they so can't chill out. I don't want it to get cold, so we're gonna put a coat on it. It does have this nice deep bedding from this morning. There's the cow, we're gonna give her calcium pills. Uh, this calf's wet. I don't wanna put a coat on a wet calf, that, that would not be good. So this cow is on the older side, like I said, and we don't wanna take any chances with milk fever. So this is a very low cost preventative thing for um, saving a very profitable cow's life. She's gonna stand up and she's gonna get out of the plane. So she not cooperating. <laughs> and I I can't get up there because I gotta hold her back here. So she doesn't break camp because she's not in far enough. She's a pretty calm, nice Yeah, cow. she's pretty chill. So Dave's working on his lonesome up there. The pill man. She's really locked tight in her mouth. Yeah, lock jaw. Well, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you're interested in seeing me clean the rest of that heifer barn out, be sure to tune in to tomorrow's video. Not, not tomorrow. I'm filming it tomorrow, but it won't be posted tomorrow. So if you guys are interested, tune into that. There goes our hired guy, Ozzy. There goes Ozzy. So I hope to see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe. I think my buddy here has something, something to say. Subscribe!